kind of trouble are you in? Listen, all right, I, I can't say it, Dave. Right, it's best you don't know any more than that, mate. Best? Uh, best for who? Best for me? For Anna? For Sandra? Kids? What do you mean, best? Huh? Do you think about us in all of this? I am in deep with some serious people, all right? And now they're after me and they're coming. I can't stay here. I'm sorry, Dave. No, you don't. Hey, 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 hey. There's got to be another way. Go to the police, I'll come with you. You don't have to abandon your family. Why should I listen to you? Right, you walked out on me when I was eight years old, Dave. Eight! Sam had just been born. I was forced to make a choice. And not a day goes by where I don't regret not taking you with me. So please, stay and fight. Whatever happens, we'll sort it out together. You know what I think? That this is a scare tactic. To smoke out the thief. Trust me, these urns are nothing but an idle threat. I know some blokes who uh, ignored an idle threat from the Undertaker. Let's just say those urns didn't stay empty for long. Let me speak to this Undertaker. I'll just flash him a little bit of my charm and he will be putty in my hands. Why is that funny? Because you're a charm isn't going to work on The Undertaker. They care about one thing, our accounts, and they're already a day late. If they're anything less than squeaky clean, we're all finished. We? Hang on, we stole from you. Why would you help us? The last time I checked, there was a name with my name on it as well. Look, I love my family, Sienna. And I'm not going to risk losing them because of your mistakes. So do you want to get out of this alive? Or not? Those books better look legit because if there's one tiny mistake... Yes, I know, I know, then we're all done for. I've done my best, OK? So we're just going to have to hope that it's good enough to fool the Undertaker. Well, you're just some two-bit accountant. You're the undertaker. No, love. That would be me. Hello, Ethan. These must be the cleaners I've been hearing so much about. Stee, I presume. Which would make you Sienna. Is that Sienna with two N's? I hope I got the spelling right. Nothing worse than typos on an urn. Pop in. You don't want to be late for the funeral. But whose funeral? That depends. Which one of you has been stealing from me? It's all there. All of our business deals, we would never steal from you, I swear. here tells a different story. He swears that your cleaning crew asked him to hide their ill-gotten gains. With some fairly pathetic flirting, so I hear. Wasted your time there, sweetheart. Our ash is very much spoken for. This one basically threw herself at me, as if I'd look at any other woman. Wait a minute. You mean you two are together? I thought that you were in this as deep as us. Nothing personal, Sienna. Look, Mrs... Call me Norma. Steve and I are good employees. Hey, this is just a misunderstanding. We can work it out, right? Woman to woman. It was you, wasn't it? I know your type. Arrogant, white-collared criminals. Snakes. It would be a pleasure to put you into a coffin. I bet you'd fit snugly into a nice 70 incher. Norma. It was me, OK? It was my idea to steal the money. I just wanted to treat my kids. I thought I was stealing from Ethan. I didn't even know who you were. So, this is a management issue. I will make sure they give your money back every penny with interest. Too late. A boss who can't control the workers is no boss at all. You need a serious lesson in disciplinary conduct. One of you is going to have their funeral today. And you get to choose. Look, Steve and Sienna made a mistake. 
They got greedy. All right, let's not do anything drastic here, Norma. Stop stalling. I am so sorry. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we didn't get to finish where we started. It's the end of the door. Do you know we had this whole thing planned out, Ethan? We have photos of every deal ready to go to the police station. We we're going to pin the whole thing on you so that we could be free of you. Being a thief is one thing, but a grass. Come on, she deserves this. No. I deserve this. I took two innocent people with loving families and I dragged them into a world they didn't deserve. So if you're determined to make an example out of someone, then you better start with me. It's your funeral. And what's a funeral without a good hymn? Must we go through these morbid theatrics every time? Don't worry, gorgeous. It'll all be over soon. <laughs> Two face, no good. Good for nothing, toe rag. Why him? What did he do? Asher was a police informer. He wanted out of the business and me in a police cell. Well, you cleaners, aren't you? Clean that up. Uh, not you, sweetheart. I haven't finished with you yet. Wait. You let me go. Why? Maybe your boyish good looks melted my shriveled old heart. Or maybe I just felt sorry for you. Take your pick. Forcing you to choose between Stee and Sienna wasn't just your punishment. It was a test to separate the men from the boys. Guess which one you are. But you'd be on your way to Timbuktu by now. Everything all right? Oh, this, uh, this nice young man was just giving me directions to the church. <laughs> you'd think I'd remember in my line of work. I'm OK. See you at home, Dave. You sure? I'm sure. I'm not going anywhere. Is that your brother? I think I'm in there. A bit old for me, mind. Maybe I should go and introduce myself anyway. Stay away from my family, Norma. Then stay away from my business. Your life of crime officially ends today. And you are graciously handing over your paltry little money laundering business to me. Understand? Good. Because if I ever see you again, it'll be to pay my last respects. Where's Ethan? Mr. Williams is no longer with us. From now on, you answer directly to me. No skimming profits and no second chances. Got it? Now get yourselves home and have a nice warm bath. You look like death. <laughs>